Mark is going to get on now. Roll it. Oh, God. Woo! Man, scorching hot. Man, I was in the middle of the desert, man, and I was running. Mm. And uh, the exit that was uh, closest to me uh, was shut down. Uh, immediately, everybody's wondering, why the fuck am I running in the middle right. of the desert? Right. Well, we were out there shooting a music video, mm-hmm. and I ran out of gas. I missed gas. Who, 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 who was in the music video? Uh, me and this dude, Phil Wade. Was Phil shoot. Wade. Yeah, Phil Wade. Phil Wade. We were shooting a uh, music video. And what's the exit to a desert? Uh, we're in Palmdale, mm-hmm. California. Uh, Avenue E. Okay. Uh, familiar with that. Yeah, it's middle of nowhere. Uh, the music video wrapped at dusk, because I just started getting dark. We lost all the light and the power out there. And we was renegade shooting, so... I'm trailing everybody. I'm in my bins. O three. I'm thinking I'm good. I got the air on. Throw the glass. It's cold. And uh, I'm trailing everybody. Phone dies. No battery. In the desert. In the desert. In the desert. So I'm like, hey, I ain't got no way to let them know. They mash you because they know you know traffic out there. Mm-hmm. They mash you. They leaving me in the middle of the desert. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro. How am I gonna tell them to slow down? The car runs out of gas. God damn. And I'm in the back. That's so, like a horror film. And I'm like, what the fuck? This is some end of the road, back road, serial killer shit. So I get out. This is bad. It's getting dusk. It's dusk, but it's still hot. I'm running. Full speed. Trying to get somewhere before it goes completely dark. Damn. So as I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm losing breath. He's running to an old white man who's like, you don't belong around these parts. I didn't no. see no white man. I wanted to see a white man. I was hoping to see don't anybody. Worry about. I just didn't want to be out there in a the coyote and get a hold of me because, you know. That's what you were about. One coyote is good. Six it's coyotes, it's you got a problem. problem. It's a fucking problem. So I'm running. I see this gas station up ahead. I run smooth to that gas station. I'm bolting toward the door to run into the door to get to a phone to call my people before they get too far down the road. I get to the door, door locked. Trying to figure out why the fuck is this gas station closed. Mm. It's a prop gas station. Stop. Okay. It's only for people to rent. So I'm looking around, nowhere to go, no nothing. I see maybe across the street a small motel. I'm like, if this is a prop motel, I'm fucked for real, for real. Mm-hmm. I run over to the motel. Motel absolutely open. Walk in the door, ask the dude at the front, I say, hey, let me use the phone. He says, well, what do you need to call? I said, Somebody come get me because I ran out of gas. Well, what are you doing out here with running out of gas? I said, sir, look, I'm out of gas. I'm feeling a little anxious because I need to get to my friends. This ain't cool. Can I use your phone? Well, sir, if you're not going to be a tenant here for the night, I might not have to be giving you anything. You just leave the property. So I'm ready to cuss his ass out. As you should. And I hear a familiar sound. Ernest Crosby. <clears throat> Bill come on, man. We figured you was not answering your phone. We got worried something might happen to you. I walked oh. out. I looked him straight in the eye and I said, Did you miss me? Oh, oh, man. Shit, we out of here. We out of here. Hey, we just going to do characters. It was the white man on the side. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> that ain't what that is. Nah. That ain't what that is. I can't believe I fell for that. I've watched it. Hey, man, you're going to talk. I'm mad now. That's okay. You ain't missing. We got some time to get. Get thrown for a, for a doozy. For a doozy die. Hey, hey, this is to, uh, let's go with help. Help. As we no. drink liquor. Yeah, that's right. right. <laughs> uh, I wanted to give this toast also to uh, Bernie and George Carlin. New additions. New additions. New additions. New additions. That's right, people. That's right. Funny. Yeah. Don't Lacey talk. is here. Improv. Actress. Comedian. We had fun working on set together. Oh yeah, we did. We worked at Blavity on a on a sketch project. That, that was, was the blackest set I've ever been on. Oh no, that ain't the blackest. That, if you think okay, that I've ever been on though. I'm questioning your blackness now. <laughs> you ain't ever been on a production? Not production. Bro production. I have not been on a production. Oh yes, what was when? That sounds like porn. <laughs> it could have been, but the most production. productions is. That's not like a mattress on the ground. Bro, the productions is done to keep you from having to do porn <laughs> to stay out here. Mm. Okay. So, uh, man, you know, you went to college like us, went to Pitt. How was yeah. that? Oh, it was really dope. It was really great. I remember I went sight unseen. 
So, because it was just like free. So I was like, oh, scholarship, I'm about to be an actor, I'm gonna be poor, so I'm just gonna go to the college that's the freest. And I remember when I went there, I started giving tours like my first year. And we would get, we would have to do these uh, programs called World of Possibilities, which was like slang for like black people program where all the black tour guides had to like. Tour black people. Yeah, tour black Make people. Make them feel more comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. white folks one time and tell niggas, answer nigga questions all night. <laughs> <laughs> you know, black mama's got questions. So what time everything shut down now? He got to be able to eat now. <laughs> the Ron got to be able to eat on it. What time the cafeteria? See, you hear that? You hear that? They want to ask you. Where's she getting the hair done? Uh-huh. Now, is it safe up here? It's just a college. <laughs> Don't take your ignorant ass on somewhere and sit down. Don't do that. They, they care about their It's some ignorant ass mamas out there. If, if all mamas was A1, this would be unapplicable to anybody. But God damn it, some of you mamas. Yeah, you're tripping. Let me tell you how I got sent off to college. How you got sent off? Very simple. Yeah. You know, I grew up very dysfunctional. So my auntie kind of raised <laughs> What? Okay. A black hair. Just black hair? No, no, not black hair. Black hair was still doing her thing. My other auntie raised me the one with the beauty salon. Yeah, with the shop. Who bought me the car with no engine on it. No oh, engine in it. That's a major car. Check, you got to check one of the, I don't forget what episode it is, but it's in there. But um, we didn't... I was going to school in Treeport initially. I was going to school in Treeport. Oh, okay. And um, I packed all my shit. I wasn't expecting a whole lot. You know, I wasn't expecting a whole lot. And my auntie gave me $20 and a card, a greeting card. And said, I hope that can hold you. <laughs> I hope that can hold you. <laughs> for the ride? No. That's it. That's, that's you for the year. <laughs> that's you at least for the semester. You should be able to hold you can ban that for the semester. I didn't say I shit. I didn't even move. try. To, I didn't try to say shit. I just looked at the guy. I was like, you know what? Wow. Man, she tried. She tried. Yeah. What, the, she what your tried. people left you with? Oh. <laughs> a bunch of shit. She like I know she you got was a bunch lit. of shit. She was laced. A Us car. Us was down there unpacking boxes. Everything. Everything. He out there. Okay, so no. Him. See, that's the thing about my parents, though. Like they they love me and they did take care of me financially, but they were never the parents to show up. Like if there was like a bake sale or something, my mom would write a check. Um, I remember I won this award for oral reading first in the whole district, which was a really big deal. And then my mom had to like leave because she said she had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> she took a, like a like a diarrhea. You know whatever that's shit. Mom had the shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mom had the shit. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna kill me if she ever sees this. Yeah, she had to leave because she was like, I can't shit in there. Oh, you can't. Hey, you don't shit, hey man, I feel you. Oh, hey, he's crackhead. He ain't shit everywhere either. <laughs> if a crack, what kind of crackhead was he? Oh, he wasn't no no. Cause nah, black this man, shit anyway. This is this is black guy was shit. Anyway. Hey, my mama, mama, he would not shit nowhere but in his mama's bathroom at the house. Aww. Nigga, that nigga would walk. He full of that yowler. He had shit bad enough. Nah, he had shit. No, he, he had shit bad enough. Billy, I'm gonna tell you something. Oh, listen, I, I agree. I shit it everywhere. Watch this. this. Lacey, follow me on this. Let me tell you something real shit. How many times you shit on yourself? Watch this. Since you're gonna grow up. I'll never forget this. I'm in boot camp. We're in the army. Excuse me, I'm not in boot camp. I'm in officer candidate school, OCS. Okay. They pairing us up with different candidates from all around the country. Yeah. They're pairing us up early in the morning. They get you early in the morning. They say, hey, listen, eat light. We got a long day. Don't try to fill yourself up. Eat light. We'll give you snacks along the way. Fuck that. I'm hungry right now. I'm eating everything. Never forget to have breakfast. They had these liquid ass eggs <laughs> that the government eats. Liquid ass eggs. Mm -hmm. They had um, some kind of pork. That's why I was eating pork. They had the pork shit. They had grits. That's a recipe. They had gravy with the biscuits on it. They had orange juice and they had milk. I had all that shit. And I had my battle buddy shit. Ate it all. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm full. <laughs> I'm good. Now I can go because we're doing land navigation. That's where they drop you off at an unknown point and you got to plot your way back. Orienteer. Something like that. Yeah. So I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'll be okay. Pace myself. I don't feel shit. They pair me up with this dude from Kansas City. His name was Wash. Wash? I think his name was Wash. He's a candidate. I'm a candidate. We're about to go. We finished this. We're pretty much about to be candidate. We're, we're, we're officers at this point. Oh, okay. We walk in and they drop us off. They put us on this cattle truck and they drop us off at our point. Me and Wash. So we're walking. And my stomach so I grew up and I said, ah, that ain't what it is. I can avoid that. That's not that. I know that's not what that is. I'm plotting my shit. I get to like my third point. My stomach is now. Fucking just talking, Ooh. doing all kinds of shit. 
Walsh is like, bro, you okay? I'm like, I don't think so. You done. <laughs> I'm gonna try to hold on for a little while longer. Keep in mind what we got on. We got on our army fatigues. Yeah. We have our rucksack, our, ba- our big ruck- rucksack, 80 pound rucksack. We have our army issued um, rifle. So you got and on. We got a lot of shit on. You got your protective mask just in case warfare, dro- um, air, some kind of shit drop. I got a lot of shit on is what I'm trying to tell you. Now is this like a woodland area? It's in woodland, like all in the woods. So it's you woods. couldn't find like a little tree or some... some uh, Hold on Lacey, I got you. Oh, I got you Lacey. <laughs> Do no worry Lacey. <laughs> I don't want you to worry at all. Don't you worry your pretty little ass, Lacey. You got all that shit off you quick enough. I had the biggest heat fat flash come over me. It was bad. I knew it was bad. I, I got hot all over. Hot. I said, oh, shit. He said, bro, what's going on? I said, you got to cover for me. He said, cover what? I said, just don't make sure no bears or no shit. Come fuck with me. He said, what's, what's about to happen? You just hold tight, goddamn it. I'm about to show you, about to show you goddamn it. I'm taking off my gear, right? He's like, are you? He's confused. So he just watched? Threw a rifle. You don't never just throw your rifle. Threw that bitch down. Fuck a rifle. You guys <laughs> this stuff that's in my ass is way more important than this goddamn <laughs> A16, uh, M16, A2 rifle. I don't give a fuck about this rifle. Nah. I pull out, I gotta take off all this shit. He's like, bro, I gotta untie the boots, because I got an army issue boots. Mm. Untie them. Before. Take one off. I ain't got time for two. Cause now the shit has got it's got thick. <laughs> the plot is thick. It's hot. Cause now I can't get this shit off as fast as I want. And this shit ain't got no time clock, goddammit. This motherfucker is coming. <laughs> I take that boot off. I pull that one leg out. I got my BDUs on. I'm holding the motherfuckers to the side like this. He's looking like, what the fuck? Who is this guy? He's a savage. Shit, nigga, on one leg. I got my BDUs on one leg. I'm trying not to shit up. I'm shit my ass off. I look over him. He's on the ground laughing. He can't tell me. Oh my gosh, bro. What, what the fuck is going on? My face. Don't give a shit about that. I'm doing what I came in to do. I'm getting that up off me. You got that shit up off me. Got that up off me, player. Intercon in the airport. Let me hold on, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. Bad shit. Almost done with it. I said, man, I don't know why. I brought a bunch of napkins with me. Oh, a whole bunch of napkins that day. I'm wiping, throwing the motherfucker, wiping, throwing it. I said, give me your canteen. What? Give me your fucking canteen, man. You done seen me shit. What else? Wash your hands out. I gotta wash my ass with this, cause I'm gonna be out in the field all day. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna Man, I put my clothes on, and I said, now here's the deal, playboy. This never happened. <laughs> <laughs> this never happened. <laughs> <laughs> you won't out there, goddamn thing. He out there somewhere. He out there somewhere. He said, man, I remember this guy in Office Kansas School, shit in the field. He didn't, I didn't give a fuck. You gotta go, you gotta go. You gotta go, you gotta go. I was in Intercontinental Airport in Houston. And let me tell you, the terminals, like most airports, are separated by train. So I have a flight out of Seagate. I misread my ticket and go to B Gate. So I get off in B Gate and I'm chilling. Just chilling. <laughs> Completely wrong. Just man. wrong to it's the world. C, it's C21, I'm on B21. Right. I look up at my phone, alert. Hey, Borden, it's closing in 12 minutes. Like shit, I'm looking up. Like, what's that thing, boy? I ain't seen nobody. I say, wait a minute, it should say C21. I jump, run upstairs, and get on that train. Why that train? Slow moving. We packed it now. I know, now, you know when you got shit. I knew I had the shit, but I was like, you know what? I ain't got time to shit at this. Concourse. Right, not here, not here. I gotta get over there. If I could just make it. Worst case, I get to the plane, I shit on the plane, and take off. Right. You don't have a problem shit on the plane either. Oh no, I let it go. So, <laughs> I gotta get to it. So I get in that in that trolley, and man, that trolley rides away and stops in the middle no. of the two concourse. Sorry about the late, folks. Uh, we're gonna get the trolley back up and going. And had a power outage. They're doing some construction over here, building new concourse. You look to your right. You can see the <laughs> spirit gate that they're developing for all the spirit flights coming up out of here. We also have a TGI Fridays coming over here and a Papa Do's Seafood Kitchen. If you just look to your right, <laughs> ah, all this construction is gonna be here for you here at Intercontinental Airport, Houston. Thank you for flying George W. Bush. I'm now. I holler out now. They look at me like, what is he talking about here? Now, now, now. Get me out! I sound 
sound like a little boy who wanna get off a of crazy as hell on that damn thing. Get me out of here, let me off. I got a shit. I said that oh, I said, oh, you said it? You got I real. said when you ate, I said it. Now, let me tell you why I said it. Because the trolley cars are connected. The driver of the operator, he's in the front car. Mm -hmm. I'm in the second car. So I'm yelling <laughs> shit loud as I can. I'm gonna hear that. Hey, tell him I got a shit. Right. It's gonna be bad. Don't care who else hears that. Don't give a fuck. Don't, Don't give a shit. <laughs> that ain't going the way I planned it to. <clears throat> that power is down. Oh. So we about, it ain't a lot of time. Six and a half minutes. But I want you to think of six and a half minutes. When you oh, really? When the shit is peeking out your asshole. You prairie dog. And looking around. Boy, prairie dog. And going back up. Yeah. And coming back down. And going back up. And so the dude that was standing next to me on the train, he was like, man, it's going to be cool. We're going to get out of here. Okay? He's like, but uh, if you shit yourself, I'm going to laugh. And him saying that, being so honest, I laughed. <laughs> It's loosening it up some more. I never experienced my ass loosening up on a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and so I'm right there. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I got to stay. Right. <laughs> something something happened. It, something I, happened. I was pretty sure at that point I had to stay right there. I said, ooh, that's bad. Okay. So car starts moving. I said, okay, I can make it there. I can't miss this flight. I'm going to get there. It's cool. I know I'm right there when I get there. Now you got to chill on the plane. I got to chill. Right. I get off. I'm coming down the escalator. And as you walk down the escalator uh -oh. while it's moving, uh -oh. the pressure oh, yeah, you is hitting the bottom of my feet, loosening my ass up. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to figure out how is this. I'm, oh shit! It's real. Oh shit! It's oh, real. Oh shit! Oh, so I'm walking, and I got my bag, and I got my, my clothes hanging, and so I'm walking. <laughs> so my steps is like this. Now. <laughs> I'm stepping like this. Now. And so, and then immediately I started thinking this. I said, you know what? I'm gonna shit on myself. <laughs> <laughs> I got off the plane. Ah! I got off. I got off the, the trolley. I got to the bottom of the escalator, and I'm trying to step. And the dude see me stepping. The shoe shine dude. He was trying to. He looked up. I said, "Man, which way the restroom?" He said, "Oh, you got to shit up." <laughs> I said, "Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey. Oh, man, you got a long way, brother. This bathroom. Over. We're closed. You got to go on down." Oh. oh. So I'm walking by. I never forget. It was a, a airport liquor store where they sell like liquor and tobacco and shit that you get tax free. Next to that, it's a coach store. And I see that they got some watches on sale right there. And I said, okay, this is it. I'm going to shit on myself right here. I just started preparing. I'm going to shit on myself. It's going, I'm, I'm hoping I, I can keep it in my clothes. I'm just going to get to the bathroom, take these pants off, throw these bitches away, and throw some other pants on. I can still make this flight. Mm -hmm. I'm stepping. Somebody comes up. Hey, man. Hey man, I seen you on TV. I said, no, no, not right today. Now. I'm not. Right right hey, I said, I'm not, man. I got a shit, bro. Not the time for you to me. Listen, Nick started looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, bro, I got shit. I will run, I get to that door. All the stars in the men's bathroom. On lock. I said, that's it. I gotta make that decision. It's over. I don't know. I ain't give up. It's a girl's bathroom. I'm going in. Okay. I walk right in the woman's bathroom. <laughs> Full on nigga walking in that bathroom. I've heard the first scream. Oh, get out of here! Not like now. Nah. Oh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I locked that door. I dropped them clothes. Oh, bitch. <laughs> and I'm shitting like, my ass out. Like, move, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm yelling at it. It's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new day. <laughs> 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 it's a new day. 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 It's a new Felt good. Didn't stain myself up and got on that plane. I was good, man. But it was it was definitely something that I, I would never ever forget. You got set up off you. I mean, felt good. You being in Pittsburgh, I mean that's what the climate up there. I already know that shit's nuts. Oh no, it's very cold. It's aggressive. What's dating like out there? Oh, ooh, Schittsburg. I mean, I didn't really date Schittsburg. there. That's what we called it. I didn't really date there. We called the locals like burgers. I'm going to get this. But we called them burgers. And they had this weird accent. Like if like a northerner and a southerner had this like gross baby. Like Hillae, Hillae, Pittsburgh. Like that's how they talk. And there's this place on campus called the O where people would get shot sometimes. And <laughs> but they would get shot on campus? <laughs> oh, I think you said take shots. No, get shot. That's cool. <laughs> like, I had a camera we used to get shot at. But, but it was like only just one just spot. Just it was just a hot dog spot. spot. And for some reason it was open 24 hours and so around like 2 o'clock. Like when the shots start. You, everybody knew not to go to the O past like 12. But it was in the middle of campus. 
Um, I didn't really date much there. I remember I, I dated one guy and I went on a horrible first date with him where he basically told me that he had gotten convicted of insider trading. And then was no, <laughs> no, oh, they was thinking the same shit. Yeah. No, surprisingly, he was. Well, he lied and told me that he was Puerto Rican, but he was really just half black. And I was like, "Why would you lie and say you're Puerto Rican?" He was like, "Well, you spoke Spanish. I just wanted to impress you." And I was like, "Ooh, is that a lie? That." Is that an impressive lie? I mean, I, whenever girls do stuff, I never want to impress them. He's full of shit. That nigga's full of shit. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, he picked the inside of trade, like, right? Lying about his races. He lied about his race. <laughs> like, that's a big deal. He's yeah, full of shit. Go ahead, about the full of shit ass. No, no, yeah, so we just went on this weird date. I met him in a kickboxing class. I didn't date much in college. You met him in a kickboxing class? Yeah. So you. Okay, so you funny. You were bad a little bit. A little bit. Interesting. Okay. She, I mean. You fight your boyfriends? <laughs> See that laugh? She would have fought one of them niggas. She would have fought one of them niggas to fight. I've never actually had to get into a fight. Um, I've always been able to convince people that I could fight, so uh -oh. then I didn't have to. Like, I went, oh God. So, I was dating this guy in college, and it, he. Need a name. Uh, <laughs> you have to have a name. Have to have, have 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 name. His first name is Matthew, is that a name? No. No. no, 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 no. We got to We got to have We got to have both. <laughs> We need all that Lacey. Come on with that Lacey. Alright, sorry Matthew. Uh, his name is Matthew Sowers. Uh, Sowers. Why you like you? Uh, German and Jamaican. You just ain't gonna stick with all brother. You just don't have to. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that, okay? It was my fault. So, he and I started dating under some questionable circumstances. What's, uh, what's questionable? <laughs> what the fuck is questionable circumstances? Clear that up me. I ain't never heard that. I ain't never heard that. So he was still involved um, with his he girlfriend. Was <laughs> no, he wasn't he was married. This was college. So he was still with his girlfriend, but we had just been friends for a long time, and then you know one thing led to another, and, and it wasn't the ass. classiest moment of my life. Don't do that. No judgment. Um, no judgment. No, this ain't judgment. I'm just trying to get clarification. We gotta know what what the turning point in the situation. I mean, just like any post game interview, you gotta know what what was the turning point. Okay, so I can't even say it was a turning point because I'm making it sound more innocent than it was. I'm like, I do what I want out of life, and so I met him, God and I was like, my type of friend. You amount a lot of niggas that go for what they want out of life. Um, if you want to be able to just get what you want out of life, that's right. <laughs> and you ain't where you want to be in life. Give us a call. Three two three three eight five nine seven three four. We'll get somebody over there. You hold tight, goddamn it. They ain't right. Stay right there. We will get somebody. Go ahead. You like to get what you want. So I was reading the book, The Forty Eight Laws of Power, and I was practicing it on people. And it was really working. Like, the stuff in that book really works. Like, Give me two like things that worked out the book. Two things specifically. Um, so basically, it's like the art of manipulation. So you never let people know what you know. Um, that's one thing. So I would know certain things. Like, if, like, his, oh, this is so bad. Oh, okay. Um, I would know if his girl was out of town or something. And I could, like, accidentally, like, bump into him. Or, like, make things seem more organic. Than more. God, this is so bad. Yeah. Um, don't judge me. It's like you judge me. Um, um, but, <laughs> and then other things would be like you, like you never outshine the master. So like, I could tell his girl knew that I liked him, and she like, I didn't like her. She was a bitch. But like, I would be very nice to her so that she couldn't really tell. Like, you know, you know when a girl's like after something you got or whatever, like they be mean to you. I was very nice to her. Like I would like hang out with her. We had mutual friends. Like it was really bad. Dope. I'm terrible. <laughs> um, I'm not this person anymore, guys. I'm, no, no, trust no, 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 Cause you kept watching. That's right. To bribe you for not telling, they took you to a corner store and let you get whatever you wanted. Anything I wanted. I was, that was, that was, that was a big He was wearing black ass out. That's what I had. I framed my watch. And I exposed him. I'm just saying that I want you to be comfortable to let you know where we at. Okay. I watched that. I seen that and I told the people that. <laughs> okay. That makes Raw sense. dick. The white man raw dick. <laughs> Go ahead. Be comfortable. Be comfortable. Be comfortable. All right. So. Um, oh, she was out of town or some shit, and then like I ended up hanging out with him, and it. it <laughs> 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 
Uh, it went down, but it had been a really long time. Wait, 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 wait. Back up, wait, wait, back up. It went down. So roll over there. Don't roll over there like that. We nah. down. We don't do that on this show. <laughs> so what happened? What? Because this, this is the first time, obviously, right? Yeah, and it was bad. It was so bad. What happened? What was bad? Uh, well, I hadn't had sex in two years. So um, you ready? That thing ready? No, that's the thing. Oh, you were not no, ready. No, when you don't have sex for a long time as a woman, things just go back. But you, I'm, you're horny, right. so I'm Yeah, I was, gotcha. my body Shit. was like, right. no girl, we're good, we don't need dick. Like, mm -hmm. my, it, was, it was like like my, my vagina was a vegan, and then it ate meat again, and was like, no. That's beautiful, I know, that's, that's beautiful. Awesome. I'm gonna tell you, that was a beautiful analogy. Your right. vagina was, was a vegan. 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 Yeah, right. I didn't you have no meat. meat. Don't want so, that meat. No, my brain wanted it, but my vagina was like, no girl, we're good, we're good on this, we don't need this. So, I tried, and then like, it like swole up. <laughs> Oh, he, he beat that thing up. <laughs> so your ass out the frame like that white man did black, black ass. German. Like that white man did black ass. He swole up, yes, put a cold towel on it, and just lay down afterward. It swole. I done been there before. I done swole some. I done swole some up. Keep them swole records. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna regret That's, this so much. Um, you won't. So yeah. So oh god, I'm gonna regret this. Um, so yeah, it was just weird, but we were cool. Oh, so he was going friends. hard. It was you that couldn't come you through couldn't that lane. No, and he wasn't even going that hard. It was just I hadn't like I had refrained from having sex for so long that it was just like my body was like, no, we don't, don't we don't that. need that. So it was kind of like awkward. But anyway, so he broke up with her, and then we started dating. Wait, wait. And how many more times did I sleep together before he broke up with her? And if you want to get in a situation like that, mm -hmm. give us a call. 323-385-9734. We'll get somebody over there to you. Hold tight, brother. It's amazing rap. Twice. Just twice. I don't believe you. No, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. It was just twice. And then he broke up with her. And because I went home for the summer for a little bit and then I came back and he broke up with her and then we started dating and it was pretty much immediate. Um, so she caught wind eventually that something had happened. And so at first I, I felt so bad. I had never done anything like that before, but I just really liked him. I yeah. felt like shit. So I was trying to like, I tried to apologize. Like she was a Delta. Oh, well, she, she was in a sorority. She's and a Delta. We got that. We got it. All right. So <laughs> like she had all, she had all. Right, the camera didn't catch her. <laughs> no, the, uh, they weren't on campus, mm. so I could not join. You um, wanted to be AK, but they weren't there. I didn't say that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so she had all her stories, taking pictures of me at cookouts and stuff. Um, he was an alpha, and so I would go with him places, and they were like taking pictures of me and like very much like salty, which was understandable. Um, so did you understand why they were salty? Yes. Okay, I was going to make sure you. Yes, I understand. Boy. Yeah, I boy. felt badly about. I boy. felt badly about it. Because once you got y'all got in a good relationship, everything went back to normal. You was putting that. I was like Kerry Washington on Scandal, y'all. You was getting fucked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you was definitely getting that dick. No, I mean like I was torn. Dick. I was torn and. You didn't know which way. I got you know. Okay, I was. You know, you would root for me if you saw it. If it was on TV, you would have rooted for that's me. That's a different approach to say. You know, what I'm saying people would root for you. <laughs> they would. That's an interesting approach. Like I'm not like I'm not a mean person, but anyway, so she was mad. So she Girls tried. Girls always say that when they fuck up. I'm not a mean person. I got no. a dick from him two, maybe four times. <laughs> so I'm a bad person. I'm just saying you would root for me. I was like the flawed protagonist in this situation. I was. Okay. I was just better. Yeah. So y'all relationship was better. Yeah, know? it was. How did it end? Since clearly um, y'all not together now. I broke up. <laughs> clearly, I broke up with him when I moved to New York City. You know, I'm your friend. And I see a theme here of you eating top of you <laughs> the next Don't location. <laughs> Tell you about this person right here. <laughs> she she will conveniently break up with niggas and turn them in like rental cars. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I'm done, I gotta go to the next destination. You ain't going with me. That's not Took his man virginity in so Texas, then left him with the college. <laughs> To dry it up for two years to come back and, and dry it up for two years <laughs> to desert it all out and for shit for two years. Yeah, and then take this man away from this woman. They could have got married, and then you burn off on a trip to New York to it's get. It's not a trip. I went there for my career. The dollar pizzas. <laughs> Don't 
don't do me like that. Well, she tried to retaliate. She got mad and started this rumor that I like given her cancer, some some long form way that she had come up with that I was. Well, this is she got HPV. She got HPV. That's cool. yeah. That's what she got. Ah, that's just part of it. But it wasn't. That's not what happened. If you got HPV <laughs> and you need somebody to sleep with because you feel like people wouldn't accept you, give us a call three two three three eight five nine seven. <laughs> nine, seven. Guys. Three, four. Fuck you guys. We'll get somebody over there. Y'all give me that. I'll give you a We will get somebody qualified for that. what happened, okay? Because I'm not going to That's the, the only way a woman can say they had cancer. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, so you, 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 you came out that real quick. I got We all got it. I don't. I went to the doctor because I was very afraid, and we also were very careful. So I was like, what the fuck? So I went to the doctor. I paid a copay. <laughs> So you know it's real. There was a copay pay. Yeah, so yeah. like I had to pay a copay. I was mad. And I right. went in there and got my full screening, blood work, everything, and it was all clear. Everything. You have to do an extra screening for anybody because it, they don't check for it under 30. But did anybody else see it other than the doctor? Like uh no, I took a picture of it. I showed my boyfriend. So what, I, what he got? He no, nothing. No, nothing. He went with you? Yes. Well, well no, no, no. Where his results was it? No, he went to the doctor too. Oh, well, but you weren't with him when he went. Yes. No, he no, we like it was completely transparent. I well, saw like transparent. something. Uh, this was 2010. 2010. Yeah, Photoshop. Uh, Photoshop. No, I was there. I took a picture for evidence for something else. Like we physically had everything. No, no. Okay. Um, and we then, trust you. We trust you. Right anyway, now. we trust you. <laughs> but I was mad because I knew she lied and she told her my best friend. She was like, "Oh, this is just about to be a rough year for Lacey." I said, "Oh, bitch, year." Like I was gonna give her like a few months to drag me on Twitter with her subs because she's just so pathetic and text right. people about me because people love me so all even her sorors were still friends with me it was bad love like for her and so I was I felt bad so I was like you can drag me you can talk shit about me like it's cool I deserve it but then when she was like it's about to be a rough year oh that's I said, oh that's bitch, year? year oh no I have things to do like you're not gonna continue to do this hell no so I kind of have like a little Napoleonic complex and I was like well I'm gonna have to get this bitch together but I'm not like a I'm not a fighter but I'm aggressive so I was like I can probably just Okay, this is okay, no judgment. No judgment. So I text one of um, her like specials and I was like, uh, I know she moved, where does she live now? This is all on campus. So I was like, where does she live? And he texted me back and was like, oh, this is where she lives now. Um, so I was like, okay. So I showed up there. I told my boyfriend I was doing this. I showed up there with my best friend who she was trying to say we were sleeping together and all this other bullshit. He's a guy. Okay. And we were never hooking up. He's still a very good friend of mine. And so I showed up to her house, um, and one of my friends before it happened because I was really angry, she was like, oh, you know what you should do? You should put some Vaseline on your face. It's silent in here. <laughs> <laughs> now, we just listening to how take, deep this take, is going. It's going yeah. to go late. We with you. We with you. You should put some Vaseline on your face uh, so the punches slide off. And I was like, I, I okay, so. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna tell something else. God damn it. Um, Be so, honest though, it's cool. Just let it out. I showed up at her house. With Vaseline on your face. With the, I want, I, I'm ready to fight, but I don't want. With the sneakers and like the, the whole get up. And I was like, like, this year I just spread lies about me. Like, you got me going to the doctor paying a fucking copay. Like, I was very much upset with her. I was like, what you're not gonna do is spend this whole year, you know, doing real, like, damage to my to my image, to my reputation. I was really mad. And so I was like, the next time I show up here, there won't be any morning, there won't be anybody with me. 246 Adwood, bitch. Like, I'm walk out of these pushes and whoop your ass. So what she said? <laughs> that was deep. Um, she was just like, it was really embarrassing for her. I told her that. Stay, stay in it up. We already like, in it now. Then my ex showed up, and he's like, so straight laced, and like, corny and, and he shows up and he's like you know this has gone on too far this is like this is too much and now it's so now it's like her ex the girl that he left her for all of us on her doorstep like look pathetic on twitter stop <laughs> like all your friends who say they care about you they're just telling you business you should really stop sharing it with them like and we like kind of like lectured her and then went home Well, if you want to fuck somebody else's boyfriend, <laughs> you just need call. to find out. Please. Give us a call. 323 mm -hmm. 385 Yes, yes. We'll, we'll get, get somebody, somebody over there, too. 
That's interesting, Lacey. Don't you, hey, Lacey, let me tell you something. It would root for you, though, Lacey. It's like, girl. We, we are so far in this right now. We did. We got, we got so much track record and bullshit out of here. It don't even, <laughs> it pales in comparison to this little story. Now, you could have been a real scumbag and pretended like you didn't know who was fucking her boyfriend. Mm. And kept that game going. That's a, that's a whole other rat race right there. But you know what, Billy? I'm going to be totally honest with you. See, Lacey, she's scathing over shit. She ain't giving you the... Uncutting lazy. Yeah, some more did. shit in there that's in that vault that she holding out on. She done, done some wild shit, and I know it. I can feel, let me tell you something. I can feel when I'm around something that's done crazy. <laughs> yes, but I have, I, have a, I have a life to think about, okay? Well, we all got lives. We all got lives. We all got lives. You think you're the only person doing crazy shit? Right? This y'all brand, though. This is y'all brand. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is not my brand. brand. Okay? What's your brand? I, I, see, <clears throat> I, it could still be, no, no, you know, no, no. Shonda Shonda ain't gonna pick me up. No. Where do you think she get all these goddamn stories from? Shonda doing bullshit too. <laughs> but she's not saying that she's. She saying. put that shit on okay. TV. Listen, hey, listen. You, 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 you opening up. Your people need to know that you gotta, you know, you a real person. You deal with issues like everybody else. You snap off every now and then. That's normal. All right, that's, that's not who you are. You just had a pass. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This what happened. Let it out. Back. I can open up to you, bro. Mm -hmm. This is a. Uh, Situation I'm dealing with. I still feel the need to masturbate after sex. That's deep, Billy. Really. It's real deep. Cause you know what? I just, I still feel like it's something in there. Why wouldn't you empty it out like with her? Like why won't you empty it out? I'm trying. You want to do it? <laughs> <laughs> See that's the truth. See that's the truth. You want to do every goddamn thing? You can't do it every goddamn. That's deep, man. Bro, let me tell you something. It's it's almost like why you go and go get you another piece of action somewhere else after you make that stop. I was addicted, bro. I was real life addicted. I was, on your Kirk Franklin shit. Oh man, I was making three stops a night, bro. Mm -hmm. I had three stops while I got to the creek. Three stops? Three, bro. With people? Like humans? Yes. <laughs> be, be. Hey, let me tell you something. I, no, I can tell I you look like the kind of guy who out here and then when you said you were a cap I was like oh lord he's probably out here and everybody's so I, I was raised on Mr. Marcus that was okay. my that was, that was that was my role model no <laughs> I show up with a fishing I... these damn caps is new to you niggas I've been wearing them up for doing the work who was raised do you know I didn't even have a mustache in college because of because Mr. Marcus I had chin hair no mustache I was on my Mr. Marcus shit I was fucking up families bro fucking them up wait but you jacking off after sex that was a problem bro that was a problem I don't, I ain't got a real good explanation for it. I slept good. Know that. You rub one out after you done already got there. Say, what's time? I'm tired. You want to go to sleep? I, I, I'm, I'm trying to ride with you because I know I got a high sex drive too. And like sometimes I'm like, but it's already there. There it is. It's like you're lying and you just you, like, ate a gazelle. Like, well, can't be touched. I thought that's what happens to guys. Well, I told you that. Who told Matthew? You that? <laughs> Who told you that? I don't. I don't know. I they tell you some maniacs out here. That's a maniac out here. I mean, don't touch me right away. I mean, give me a minute. And no, then, mm -mm, I'm slamming that thing right back in there. Okay. <laughs> I slam that thing back in there on them. Why did I get the tame podcast about Beyonce? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. We well, a lot more open around here, buddy. But I'm just trying to get this off my chest because I feel like I'm I feel like you need to air it out. Because it came out of left field. You was like, you know, yeah, say, yeah, well, you know that, that's been on your heart. You know, you know, being open is the first step. It's somebody else out here that I understand. I'm gonna get the inboxes. They yeah. me up. Hey, bro. I went through that. Mm. Went through that. You don't understand it, Lacey. No. Because you feel like your vagina should suffice. You shouldn't want nothing else. Um, I guess if, if you have to do that, that's okay. You okay with that? If Matthew just finished and just came and you seen that breathing, you turn around, this nigga got a towel in his hand, beating his dick with some jerkins. You cool? You ain't gonna be like, man, what the fuck? She ain't gonna be cool. Towel and jerseys. I mean, you cool with that? Whatever floats your boat. Whatever. I mean, most women ain't gonna say that. Most women are not gonna allow. You didn't do it right in front of her, did you? Oh, yeah, sometimes. When they would, I would do that. I've been, I've been doing that since at least 9 8. Oh, okay. I've been, I've been on that since 9 8. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you tired? You don't wanna do nothing. That's cool. I'm gonna unload this cannon right here and go right to sleep. Let you know something. We ain't stopping shit over here. Yeah. The show will go on. Yeah. With or without you. Keep playing. Yeah, you can't threaten me about what's not. I mean, that's cool. I don't. I, oh, kick that. Watch this. Yeah, I'm out. 
Cut the TV off. When Juvenile say, go to sleep on that holy. Tell me you're your girlfriend. I'm going to be my damn self. You don't worry about me. Man, I, I think, dog, like, you know, niggas get fed up, dog. At some point, you got to start taking that power back, dog. Let me, you know what? It's crazy. Maybe that you said you was going through. I went through a period like that. Uh, I was in Vegas. Another story. I was going through something. I was like, man. You make me feel like Vegas is the devil's asshole. Dude. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm waiting on a, on a body in the middle of the desert story, d like Dog. I went through something like mentally. I was like, you know what? I'm trying to attain something. I need to do something big. I need to try something different. So I said, I ain't fucking nobody. Okay. No more sex. No more jacking off. Bam. As I'm wishing that into the universe, the universe started moving in. I need a chick. Carm, Kamel, Kamala, Kamel. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get that motherfucker. I'm going to get it. But we met. We hit it off. She was on the same shit. She was like, you know what? I ain't having sex either. I was like, man, me either. This is good. I ain't never tried. Let's, let's do it. She was really pretty girl, brown skin, but she was like really hood. Mm. Like, on she hood. I don't even see that. That being that hood make me feel like, how can she even accept some shit like that? She, but she don't know. You don't know what, what you don't that know. Mean? If you don't know, you don't know. You know, if you just fucking do with a little dick the whole time, not no. to have sex again. But if you, that's all you deal with, and then you, you talk to some other girls. That's been like how, how hood chick and like and and celibate correlate. What you just said. Yeah, I'm just telling you, hood. Let me tell you what's happening in the hood. Ain't no money in it. Niggas that give me money, doing two things, they fucking. Crackheads, they fucking. Everybody fucking. Dope fiends fucking. You didn't say she was a crackhead? No, no, no. I'm saying the fact that what you're talking about the hood. It's two things that's happening in the hood. Niggas is fucking in the hood. They're definitely fucking. They definitely fucking. They fucking. I can't remember her name. Anyway, very, Camille. Anyway, very pretty girl. Very, very pretty. And the hood. I said, you know what? We're going to go out to eat. I'm just getting to Vegas. I ain't got a whole lot of money. But what I think is nice, I'm gonna take it out. Mm -hmm. Hey, I ain't got that much money. I just got that bitch. Okay. Just got that. Okay, I appreciate that. Okay, so we get there, and she says, "Listen, I'm gonna tell you right now. What I don't really it? dine out. It's like it's like during the, the daytime, like, you know what I mean? Like maybe three okay. in the afternoon, something like that." She said, "I don't really do this eating out stuff." Oh, yeah. I said, "All right, cool. I don't worry about." She said, "No, no, you don't understand. I don't know how to do this." I don't do this. I don't do the eating. I don't know how to hold the fork, the spoon. I don't know how to do all this shit. shit. She gave me a disclaimer already. I was like, don't trip. Because she that pretty. I was like, fuck it, bitch. I'm going to teach you. You're going to learn. I'm a, I'm a teacher. Where did you meet her? Where did you meet her? That ain't hood. That's uh, that's I met her at, somewhere in Vegas. I don't know. Social skills, bro. They, she, had, they had a classroom just for that. They had an ironing board, the stove. She ain't got none of that. So she got nervous. She don't know how to do none of that. For IHOP. IHOP. International House of Hell. That's right. Stop judging. Stop judging. Goddamn it, you almost gave a bitch cancer and you gonna sit up here and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's some shit. Sit up there and judge this guy. It's it's mass my house up here. Yeah. I didn't give anybody cancer. Damn near, you almost. <laughs> was that the last was that the last time you slept with somebody's boyfriend? Yes. Knowingly or unknown? Why you look back at me like it was confirmation, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> we ain't doing that. that. That's what we ain't doing. Yes, it's a once in a life thing. I wouldn't do it again. That's good. That's good. Yeah, That's I've been good. single for a while. I'm, I'm happy. Okay. Well, if you want to fuck somebody else's boyfriend, give right. us a call. 323 385. Mm -hmm. So you took her to IHOP, no, and she don't know how to use no four. We'll get somebody over there to you. So she's sitting down, okay. and I was like, order what we want. She was like, all right, cool. And I seen the, you know, she had this, like, you know, the happy shoulders. We see what they do. They about to order what they want. I was like, oh, okay, she happy. I want you to have a good time. She orders the steak. I was like, fuck it. I'll get the steak, too. Order the steak. I tell them I want mine. medium well. She was like, I want mine all the way. Okay. The way, the, the, the lady don't know what the fuck all the way is. All the way. No, the way oh, my, All the way. Like it's a burger. Like, <laughs> like you got mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato on a sesame. Oh, yeah. Burger. put it, Yeah, put the fixings on mine. So she was like, like, well done. She was like, yeah, I guess. I was like, yeah, she gave us a full well done. 
we're sitting there, we talk. She's like, thank you. You know, this is really nice of you. And she dead serious. Like, she don't, this shit, that, she's not playing. This is serious. She don't get a chance to do no shit. Somebody taking us somewhere. She ain't never been nowhere. This is nice. This is fucking nice. I see your face, Lacey. This is fucking nice. I'm sitting there, and they bring the food. Sitting down with the food, right? I hold my head down, say, my grace. As I look up, she has grabbed the steak, bare motherfucking hand, and bit that bitch. Just bit it like a hot dog, she, like a taco. This bitch. Was, I'm looking like what? She was like, I told you, I ain't know how to eat all like that. I was like, hold on, you ain't gonna try? Like, well, try? At least try. I was like, listen. So I'm cutting mine like that. She was like, uh, uh-uh, I ain't got time for all that. I ain't got time. I mean, it was just she was beautiful, but it just didn't go with her characteristics. I took it. Stay with that shit. Did it, just hung in there. Cause she was on the same thing. We ain't having sex. You know, we didn't have sex. So finally, yes, yeah, maybe like a couple of weeks pass by. We y'all, together. Y'all in that thing. We in that thing. Making it out. We kissing. I'm like, listen, it's been like, at this point, probably like two months. Ago. I've probably been about two months out in the game. That's a long time for somebody that's really active. So we're doing our thing, bam. She was like, you got a condom. Absolutely got a condom. It's been two months with me. I need to keep throwing that disclaimer out that it's been two months, no activity. It's no touching me, nobody touching it. Bam. Open the shit, she's sitting there, grab the condom, put that motherfucker on, bust everywhere. Bust everywhere. Just pre, bam, false start. Bam, shot everything. Flag on the plate. Everything. She confuses him. I hate it. I can't justify this. I've been waiting two months. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I've been waiting two goddamn months. We got to start this shit all over. But I said that to say this. I don't know why the fuck I said that. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know why I said it. But when you hold out on sex a long time like that, it's a natural desire. It's a natural bodily function. Even if you just don't touch as a male, if you don't touch yourself for a long period of time, it's going to come out in your sleep. It's going to come out. We're not dreaming. It's in there, brother. I just dropped some information on you. That was not. That was not. That was a message. That was a message. You better receive that shit, Lacey. I appreciate that. Better receive that. I mean, being a a female that is always performing, always around different people, like your performance, where do you feel like you you give something different than what other people are able to give on stage? Because being black in Hollywood is definitely a crazy place altogether. Then do an improv, it's a lot of nutbags over there. Yeah. UCB is home of the nutbags. A lot of split personalities and shit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's comedy in general. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of broken people, man. Yeah, I mean. That's... How'd you come up with the Obama's daughter thing? Um, so I just wanted to do improv in like a safer space, like with women who would get like my references where I didn't feel like I had to, sometimes, uh, I'm not guilty of this anymore because I had to train myself out of it, but when you're around white people a lot, you start to change, not your speech, but your references and like your generalizations to things that are more accessible for them because white people are probably the only race on the planet that don't, in in the aggregate, take a lot of time to understand other people's cultures or things about them. Like, I know everything about white people. White people don't know shit about me. Like, whereas, like, you know, I feel like we've had to kind of adapt and evolve. Yeah. You know, you always have to be a little more general. Like, I can't say certain things and they'll just pick up on it. So, um, I wanted to play with black women where I wasn't have to worry about censoring, like, the whole part of myself that is a black woman, you know, on stage. Yeah. Um, and it's been dope. Yeah, playing play on stage is fun. I've done it a couple times. The last time I just did it with Sean. We did, uh, Kitchen clothes. Yeah, the kitchen clothes. That shit was fire. I love that show. We rap, we had good ass time. And uh the time before that was nuts. I made the mistake of uh mixing business with it. I hooked up with this chick who was doing improv and uh, uh, <laughs> uh What's her name? I knew he was gonna go there. Yeah. What's her name? No, actually, no, I'm not going to do that because this is a girl. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I'm, I'm definitely going to say it, Larissa. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Nashville. Uh, so I went to go perform at Larissa. Yeah, Larissa from Nashville. Actually, Larissa. Yeah, okay. Went yeah. to go perform at her show. Um, she was like, You should come do my show. I said, Cool, I'm going to do your show. I come, I'm playing, all good. Now, people don't realize in stand up time is different. You go on your stage, you do your time, and you get off. 
improv, it's a whole thing that's happening. It's a whole play that's happening. They coming up to me saying shit I never heard before. I got your back. What do you mean you got my back? Nigga, I'm going to fight. We finna fight. You improv cats are saying I got your back. I got your back. No, you mean that that means they're going to support you. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I'm used to when you do comedy, it's like, hey, nigga, I'm going to kill you tonight, boy. I'm going to burn you, boy. You better watch this heat. Right. We we talking shit like that. Hey, boy, you ready for this? You ready? I'm about to drop it on you. Hey, you see what's about to happen, man. Baby, daddy only gave me 25. Yeah. So, nigga, to go sport. from that is niggas is padding, they, they got the arms around each other. Yeah. He said, I got your back, bro. I got your back. I got your back. I got your back. Yeah. I got your back. 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 Got your back. I'm like, and I'm not saying anything. I don't know what y'all talking about. Right. I don't know how much back you think I'm going to have. We finna do the show. We finna get right here. So, show goes on. I'm having a good time. I'm funny in the spaces that I get a chance to be funny in. Mm-hmm. Get off stage. I go out with them. We get Fucked up. Fucked up. I mean, I used to get drunk, but this is a whole different level. These people drinking away problems drunk. So we we stumbling around the streets. There's a couple bars right by the club. I stumble out of there. Me as usual, I get too drunk. When I get too drunk, I can't let everybody know I'm too fucked up to hang. I just disappear. <laughs> I just disappear. You just don't see him no more. Like, where this nigga went? So I went to go try and get out of there. Try to Uber. Unsuccessful. Phone dies. I end up just sitting down. I end up falling asleep. I fall asleep for a solid two hours. I wake up. It is two two twenty. I went to sleep at twelve. Our show was at ten. We was out at eleven forty five. I'm out there sleeping. Two twenty. I get up. I stumble. Just as they walking out, I see Larita. Larita look at me dead in the eye and say, "Did you miss me?" God damn it! What you talking around the world with that, Larita? Larita? Got him out of there. Got Not a real there. person. Jeez. Oh no, got you out of got there. Got you in there. Got you in there. Let me get you out. Let me get you out of there. Okay. Hey man, make sure you listen to us on iTunes, on YouTube, Spotify, Google Play. Even in the Apple Store. SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. I always forget SoundCloud. Yeah, a, lot people they got, a lot of people forget to subscribe to. Man, review. Subscribe, man. Like. Comment. And get the merchandise. Where Buy you something. Where, so they don't know where it is. Man, didmissmepodcast.com. That's right.